Morning, I'm John Thielen. Today on Fish Ed, we're out doing some pike fishing. This is my son, Nate. He snuck away from hockey a little bit to find a little bit of time to fish with dad. So we're pretty excited about today. This is one of our favorite lakes and we usually do pretty well pike fishing, but there's a couple tips and tricks to catching pike right in the, the early part of summer. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So stay right where you're at. Fish Ed's coming up. smokes this guy's just a freight train going the other way with it better grab that net bud this is a pretty good one that right there is how you like to start <laughs> it's, this fish here just nailed it i think we're gonna end up on this side not much i can do about it there's nothing like fighting pike on spinning tackle like this i i just it, it's so fun because that fish a pike has so much strength. I mean, I think sometimes we forget how strong a pike is. Ooh, that's a big fish too, isn't it, Nate? Yep. Yeah, that's a good pike. Look at that one. There we go. Oh, look at this. What a way to start a morning. Wow, put him right on the floor there, bud. Holy smokes. That's a giant. <laughs> you know, this tactic that we're using today, this fish is just a giant. This is awesome. But this tactic we're using today, I think is one of the best tactics in the world for catching all species of fish. I, I don't care if you're pike fishing, you're walleye fishing, whatever it is. What we're doing is just deadly and that is we're fishing the weeds and we're, we're fishing the weeds effectively because of a couple things, but I'm gonna, I'll explain it to you as we go today. But wow, look at that. What a great way to start a day of pike fishing. See if we can get this guy unhooked. I'll show him to you, give you a better look at him, then we'll get him back in the water. What an awesome fish. Hooked up just the way you like it too. Look at that fish. Wow, what a great pike. That's a probably a 32, 33 inch fish. That's a, it's an awesome start, huh, bud? Great start. <laughs> Let's hope it's gonna go that way all day. I'm gonna get this guy back in the water and let me tell you a little bit more about what we're doing today. And, We'll see what we can do to get another one. What an awesome fish that is. Come here, buddy. Let's get you out of here. There he goes, like a bullet. <laughs> Man, they're not just strong, they're fast. Pike are, are such slashing fish. They're just, they're fast. They, they do everything fast. They're in a hurry with everything. And Man, they're a fun fight too. And, that's a super way to start. But what we're doing today is, ooh, there's one right there too. We got another one hooked up. Look at that. You got him, bud? Yep. Look at that. What we're doing here today is actually one of the most overlooked and simple ways to fish. And that is we're fishing in the weeds. And if you can be in a situation where you can fish the weeds and do it effectively and not be intimidated, by what weeds bring. And what, what weeds, weeds actually bring is here comes. a lot of snags. You can come over here if you need to, bud. Bring them right over here. Oh yeah, look at that one. Another good one. Look at that. Got him. Another good one. Wow. What a way to start the day, huh? Kind of a, kind of a one after, one after another start. <laughs> look at that fish. Tangled lines, cut lines. Look at that. I don't know that there's a plastics preference this morning, I'll tell you that. Let's do this. Sometimes the easiest thing to do, if the fish will be calm enough for you, is to just get him unhooked, because we got a little bit of a fire drill going in. If he'll just let me unhook him right there. There you go, buddy. Look at that fish. Look at that one. Two dynamite pikes start the day. Nice fish, buddy. Good job. We'll get him back. There he goes. Like I said, bit of a fire drill to start the morning here, but, but here's the thing. If you can fish these weeds, 
fish them effectively like what we're doing right here. And that is fishing in them, not outside of them. These fish live in these weeds. And that's what gets tricky about this. If you can get in the weeds, fish in the area where they live, it's also the area where they eat. And obviously these two fish, I mean, this is our first pass. I mean, we just got on the water and here's the thing, these fish are up in these weeds and they're feeding aggressively. So if you can get on them like that, get into where they eat, get in their kitchen, you can catch fish. And that's what we're gonna talk about today is how do you get in there? How do you fish these weeds effectively? Because if you can figure out how to do it, I'm gonna tell you what, you can catch a good pike like that one nonstop. One of the neatest things about the there systems. Oh, look at that. Good one too, isn't it? I think one of the neatest things about the system we're using here today too, is that you get to pull right over the top of these weeds, but when you do bump a weed here and there, it's not a disaster. You're, you know, a lot of times it'll come through and stay pretty clean because you just got one hook sticking out of that plastic. Ooh, that's a good one. Look at this fish. Oh boy, did you see his mouth? <laughs> this is a good one right here. But I think a lot of times, you know, if you're pulling a crankbait, if you're pulling a crank, what's gonna happen so often is you're gonna get tangled up in a weed because you got all those treble hooks down there. But here you just got that one hook in that plastic. So a lot of times, right here, good job. Biggest one of the day. Look at that fish. What an awesome fish. That's, that's a big one. Look at how thick that guy is. That's a great fish right there. We're gonna get this thing unhooked and, and I wanna show you exactly what we're using because I'll tell you what, this is a pretty simple deal. You can, you can buy what we're using here today at the store. You don't have to do a whole lot of extra anything besides tie it on and go. And I think that is one of the neatest things about the system we got going on here. Let's get this fish up. Hang on there, buddy. Here we go. I just want to show everybody. Look at that fish. Nice one, Nate. <laughs> That's a heck of a pike right there. Look at that. I don't care where you go. That's an awesome pike. Let's get this guy back in water. We'll show you exactly what we're using here. There he goes. Here's what it is that we're using. This is what's called the Heart of Steel Little Joe Spinner. And what it is, is this is all a soft steel leader. It's about that long. I mean, there's, there it is right there. And all I'm using is a crankbait snap here. And I'm putting my Lindy sinker up in front of it. But then this steel leader has made it so we haven't broke a single fish off all day. And then all we're doing is running that spinner rig and we're just putting a plastic on there of, you know, various shapes. You know, we talked about it earlier. Nate's using a tube. I've been using a, a, a different paddle style bait. But all we're doing is casting this out and cruising along. But here's what's great about this. This product's been around forever. And man, it was catching pike when I was a kid. We were, this is what we were fishing with years and years and years ago. It's got a big hook on it. It's designed for pike fishing. And pike just love spinners and, and put a plastic back behind there moving. And, and I'll tell you what, it's, it's just a, a dynamite system. And it's so easy to fish because anybody can do this. You couldn't do this with a crankbait. You get hung up nonstop, but you can get away with it with this. And, and these fish, man, they'll tune in on that, that vibration of that blade, that little bit of vibration and color they get off that plastic in the blade. And, and I'll tell you what, it's just, just awesome strikes. There he is. Look at that. Watch, you're gonna get that second one. There it is, right there. Now he's got it. Now we know we got him hooked up. Simple as that. If that first one, as badly as you wanna reach out and grab that, you wanna resist doing it. Because if you do, that fish, a lot of times, he's not ready and he's not gonna be hooked up. I don't know, he hasn't made a big run yet, but he's heavy. It's always hard to say, you know, I mean, when you're, doing this on spinning tackle. You're trying to bring a, a fish toward you that has no interest. Ooh, it is a good one. It's a big one. Oh boy. Another good one. Look at that fish up on the surface here. See if I can get him to you, Nate. Go get him. Go get him. Oh yeah. Look at that. I think that might be our biggest one of the day, huh? <laughs> Look at that fish. 
That is a giant pike. I'll tell you, this is such a cool way of fishing. And it's so overlooked. Don't be scared of these weeds. Just go fish over the top of them. Find the right spots on these weeds and you can go right over the top of them and you can pull spinners on them. And look at that. And look at how that pike ate that. That is just awesome. Look at that fish. What a great way to wrap up the day. You can go out and do this though. I'll tell you what, it's pretty simple. Pick up some hard to steel spinners and get them at any of your local retailers. It's a little Joe product and it's, it's been around forever and it's been catching pike, man, since I was a kid. It's been catching pike. Still doing it today and you can go out there and you can do this on pretty much any body of water. It's got weeds in it. Look at that fish. Get them back in the water and get them out of here. 